Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I want to talk to you about a really nice update on Luminar. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Germany. I'm a French photographer from the amazing cities of Paris, France, right now in New York, working on my New York color book. And I want to talk to you about Luminar that just had a new really cool feature, the Sky Enhancer. Let me show you. All right, guys. So there is a major update on Luminar 2018 uh, with the Sky Enhancer, and they also improved different various bugs. It's a free update. In case you don't know what Luminar 2018 is, it's really something you can use if you don't want to be a Creative Cloud member and you don't want to have Lightroom, or like me, you use Lightroom, but you want to use it because they've got special filters that only Luminar has, and I wouldn't even know how to create that in Photoshop. Let me show you a couple of examples. So I'm going to click Open Image, and I'm going to take uh, this Florence photo. It's a DNG file, it's a RAW file, I'm opening up here in Luminar, and I'm going to retouch this photo. So, you know, by default, when you open Luminar, you got different workspace. The one by default is professional, which is really cool because it's very similar to Lightroom. You can, you know, open the shadows, bring down the highlights. I'm going to do the white. I'm going to do the black. On this one, I think is I want to go to uh, the white balance of shade uh, and maybe add a bit of magenta, something like this and a bit of contrast. So that's the basic retouching you can do anywhere. Now, they have this new option called um, Sky Enhancer, and I'm gonna use it all the way so you can see what it does. Uh, basically, it actually masks out the sky and just makes it more awesome. And the thing about it, there's no halo effect, there's nothing. I mean, on this one, there's not so much going on. I'll show you on a New York photo. You can see that their auto masking feature is amazing. I used to have to do, you know, uh, a lot of things. It's just like the way that technology works is really cool. I'm going to use also the intelligent filter, the boost. That's something you don't have in Lightroom. So don't use it too much because that's going to give you hellos. I just use it a little bit. And uh, the other thing I really love about this one is um, the advanced contrast. So advanced contrast is one of my hidden feature. I don't know what it does, but I've not been able to really even do that with Curve in Photoshop. I just usually boost the highlights. It adds contrast in the highlights, the mid-tones, and the shadows. And since this was taken right after golden hour, I like to add another filter to it called the golden hour filter. So you can just search. It's one of the filter I love. It just adds this sort of golden hour things, and all you have to do is boost it. Voila, it makes like, look at the sky, how it makes different. But this works really well with the sky enhancer. Uh, they work really well together, so check it out. That's the before. And that's the after. Pretty cool. What a, what a powerful software. If you don't have Luminar, check out the link below. It's really, really worth the money because it has a lot of filters and I've done lots of tutorials about it that neither Lightroom or Photoshop has. And if you don't want to be a Creative Cloud member, you can do everything with Luminar. So I'm going to open another image, uh, which is uh, the one I actually shot last night here in New York. I was doing a photo walk with some friends and uh, fellow photographers. And that's the long exposure we got, a classic Manhattan view. So same thing here, I'm gonna open up the shadows, bring down the highlights a little bit. I'm gonna do my black point. I'm gonna do my white point. The white balance is completely off on this one. I think I wanna really add a lot of magenta to this one because there's a lot of greens. And um, for some reason in Luminar, I have to add even more magenta in, into Lightroom just to kill the greens. Maybe add a little more yellowish. And now, Check this out, check that new feature of the Sky Enhancer. If I go right, you see how it it adds, it makes the sky darker, except on the buildings. It automatically masks that, which I, I find it's really cool because, you know, sky is everything in a photo. And same thing on this one, I would go to the famous advanced contract that you find nowhere else, one of my favorite tool. And same thing here, I'm gonna add a little golden, golden oops, sorry golden, golden, our filter, and just, you know, give it a little boost here, just to make things a little, just a little tad, not much, and again, this is the before and the after, it's really a great, very simple and very fast software. Okay, let's do one more, uh, this is a daylight photo, and uh, I usually don't take, you know, daylight photos, but this one was kind of cool, same thing, I'm going to open up the shadows a little bit, so we can see better, 
bring down the highlights. I'm going to do my black point, my white point. And uh, the sky is really washed out on this one. So come to the rescue, the sky on a hamster. And uh, it's going to make a lot more contrast in the sky. I'm going to use a bit of AI filter. Maybe add a bit of contrast, lower the exposure. And uh, I'm going to add a little more magenta because magenta goes a long way. Maybe boost the whites a little bit here. And uh, voila. Let me show you again without the sky enhancer. Before, after, before. It's a small thing, but I love how they auto mask the thing. And this software is just getting better and better and better. Bit of highlights, mid tone, shadows, my favorite. Check it out before, after, before, after. And uh, maybe on this one, I'm going to add. Like on, on the daylight, sometimes you get a little too much halos. I like to add, for example, an image radiance. Image radiance is kind of cool. It sort of softened the image a little bit. And uh, if you go all the way, it's crazy. But that's something like you don't have, you could do in Photoshop but with a few filters if you know what you're doing. But I love what it does. Just gives like a little glow to the image, you know. And you can, if I want this only on the sky, I can just go here and, you know, take a brush and paint the radiance only on the sky. So I have a little more diffuse sky, but look at that sky, how it came out really cool. So again, this is a before and after. So, uh, you know, minor update, it's a free update. If you don't have Luminar, grab a copy. You got a special deal under this video and I will see you in another video.